Hi there, I'm Hannah Bardell, the Member of Parliament for the Livingston constituency. And today is World Mental Health Awareness Day. And I have been trying to find the words for most of the day to talk about this. This is my fourth attempt at recording a clip. I'm usually pretty good at doing them off the bat. Um, and I think it's because as an anxiety sufferer myself, I find this incredibly hard to talk about sometimes. Um, I think that, I saw somebody on social media say earlier today that it's all very well raising awareness, but we need to demand better services and more investment. And I totally agree with that. And I think, I like to think that there is much more that we can do. Certainly in Scotland, we have invested more in mental health services and we are doing more, but there is much more that we still can and should be doing. And I also recognise that I am in a very privileged position doing the job I do. Um, and it's important to recognise that. But that job, which I love, and I absolutely signed up for, and all the stresses that come with it, is and has had quite a profound impact on my mental health. Um, I think the dysfunctional system at Westminster, the relentless wall-to-wall -wall nonsense with Brexit, not really being able to do our job a lot of the time in the way that we should because Brexit is taking up so much energy, is having an impact on people and parliamentarians of all parties. And I think that's really important to talk about because if our lawmakers and decision makers are in a bad place mentally, emotionally and physically, which I can tell you many of them are, that is not good for our democracy. And I think that we need to talk about that. And I know for my own part, you know, I came out in 2015 as a lesbian. I hid from myself for a very long time. I got elected at the same time. I then just threw myself into my job. I did what I'd always done and hid from my problems by pushing myself at work. And that has done me quite a lot of damage. And only in the last six months or a year have I faced up to that reality and sought proper help. And I'm in a fortunate position that I've been able to get help from friends, from family and in other places. That is not everybody. I know lots of people don't have those support networks, so I count myself as very lucky. But there are organisations out there that can help you if you are suffering with poor mental health. I've also drawn strength, incredible strength, from a, a number of people who've shared their own experiences. And a friend of mine, Jamie, who has a partner and a young child, suffers from agoraphobia and had not been on holiday abroad or been on a plane, I don't think, for over 20 years. Did a series of posts recently when he took his family uh, on holiday and what he talked about as a young man suffering from mental health issues was so powerful and I am very conscious that particularly men have profound issues in seeking help and support when they have mental health problems because of issues around toxic masculinity. I think as a, as a society we need to start challenging those, we need to talk about these issues more, we need to look at why services are not getting to people very often in time I've lost a number of friends to suicide in recent years and we need to do much better but the first step is just talking about it and recognising it so I'm going to talk about it today I'm Hannah I'm an anxiety sufferer I've put my head in the sand in the past but now I'm seeking help I've got help I've got incredible people around me I'm very, very fortunate. If you're struggling, if you're having a difficult time with your mental health, like so many people around you will be, and you maybe just don't realise, please, please, just reach out. Just ask for help. It can be incredibly difficult to make that first step. I know that myself. But once you've made that first step, you will be on the path to a much better future and hopefully a happier one.